Well, I think East Catholic High School is built on the relationship of a community you know, experience. Athletics is one part of that total experience. Uh, we refer to athletics nothing as something that it's not extracurricular, but it's co-curricular. You know, that exists side by side with all the other programs that we hear, have at school. The student athletes at East Catholic uh, and the student body in general, is, it's second to none. I, I look at what I try to do as a coach. I look at uh, how demanding we are as a coaching staff. Uh, we ask the student athletes to be here every day. We put in a lot of time. And, and the response that they give us is amazing. The team atmosphere that we're able to create here is very unique throughout the entire state. You know, about 80% of our kids participate in high school athletics. Through athletics, their involvement lets them perform to a high level and also to develop some great time management skills, which I think is witnessed you know, by the number of kids that we place yearly on our all-conference, you know, all-academic teams. You have practices almost every day after school, so you have to manage your time wisely, so you have to be on top of things. and. Make sure you do all your work and, and you need to make grades so you can play the sport, so you need to make sure you're responsible enough to do that. With sports, you know, you have to realize that when you come home from school, if you have a late practice, do your work and it just tends to help motivate you and realize that because if you don't have the grades that meet the criteria, you can't play. It can't just be one or the other. You have to balance between both during the sports season. You know, through athletics, you know, we, we, we teach more than just the skills of that particular uh, sport that they're involved in. You know, that we and our coaches, you know, teach, you know, values that they can take forward, you know, with them for the rest of their life. I, I find that athletics gives life tools to them, and I've always said that. I develop the whole person, and I want them to be better athletically, but also you know, their character and as a person. We know, we know that sports um, create memories for the kids, and we want them to have their best experience. And there is something for everyone at East Catholic, so if you want to be involved in athletics, there is a spot for you too. My primary role would be in the prevention of injuries for the student athletes, and to a lesser extent, the rehabilitation. But obviously I'm here when they need me, I'm here on site to cover sporting events if people do get hurt, and then the day-to-day -day rehab and rechecks of injuries and that sort of thing. At the beginning of the year, I meet with each of the coaches separately and we talk about what we can implement into their normal daily routine in a preventative manner that doesn't look like rehab or we call it prehab a lot of times, but we try and implement exercises that they can easily put, put into their practice schedule. So I've been exposed to a lot of different places and for the high school level, this is about as good as it gets. It's, it's super what they have here with the access to the weight room and being able to rehab kids appropriately. Something as simple as a window into the weight room lets me keep an eye on them while I'm doing some other things. So I think physical plant doesn't get any better. Most of the students and student athletes are, are kids who are uh, self-disciplined, or if they haven't been self-disciplined, they become disciplined, uh, and that's what's made it so pleasurable. You really feel that you can teach and coach in this environment. It's great. It's a, it's a wonderful atmosphere. It's a wonderful environment, and as an educator myself, it's, uh, it's a situation you want to be in. Uh, you see kids that are, are dedicated to one another. Uh, typically, they have a team-first attitude, and. And, and they're collectively better than they are individually. And I think those things speak a lot to the school, the type of kid that's in the school, and, and the types of things that go on in the hallways and, and in the classrooms as well. First day is the first day of practice when the ninth graders show up. Um, just, they look like tiny little kids. And at the senior banquet, when everybody leaves, just the development is just amazing. This has been a very important part of high school for me. Um, it, I'll keep it in my mind for the rest of my life playing sports here. It's awesome being a part of the swim team. Um, you make a whole lot of new friends and we're like a family on the team. We're really close with everybody. We 
have a lot of team spirit. It's a great experience. Off the court, it's a great buzz in the school. You know, everybody, everybody's always saying, hey, how's the season, everything. We go to different games together, go out to dinner. Um, we have pasta parties. It's a lot of fun. It brings you closer to the school. It shows you, you, you become a part of the school when you, when you play a sport because you're representing these Catholics, so it, it's, a, it's a great honor. I expect uh, from my athletes the same thing I expect from my students here at East, and it's basically excellence. My athletes respect themselves and they respect their opponents, and uh, people notice that, and uh, it makes me proud to be a part of the athletic program here. There is definitely something different about the East Catholic athlete, and I think it starts with the basis of them being student athletes. It's just such an important thing here. So because when you're a better student, I think it makes you a better athlete as well. The one word that I can sum up is respect. Um, it's not respect for the athletes between themselves, coaches. When you have East Catholic on your uniform and across your chest, uh, the expectation is that you're going to carry yourself a certain way, you're going to compete a certain way, and, uh, and whether you win or lose, you know, you're expected to act like a champion. They should tackle their problems in life the same way they tackle a cross-country race, which is to start with a prayer, run the best race they can run, and when they think they can't take one more step, to dig deep and sprint to the end. And that really is how I would suggest that they tackle their problems in life too. Oh,